Normal Illinois in their starting lineup. There's an impressive sophomore, Osiris Eldridge. A three. And for the Indiana Hoosiers, Ramon Bassett, Demarcus Ellis. And we're set to go. Cody Acosta takes the opening tap against D.J. White and the Hoosiers control. Gordon gets his first touch. Matched up with Osiris Eldridge. Thomas can't get the kiss off the glass. White trying to keep it alive for the Hoosiers. Who Richardson handles the ball. Richardson sealed off along the sideline, the baseline, and steps on it. And a turnover. DeAndre at 295 pounds. Boo Richardson 160. 5'8", 160 for Boo Richardson. No score, still inside the first minute. Thomas trying to change that, but the block by Anthony Slack. Anthony Slack comes over to block that shot. Gordon underneath and laid in by DeAndre Thomas for the first points of the game. Gordon underneath and laid in by DeAndre Thomas for the first points of the game. And then a turnover. So the unforced error and the turnover. And the Sooners have it in their front court. Here's Gordon. Now it's going the other way. Third line because uh, that red line is a lot closer to the out of bounds line. Eric Gordon stepped out of bounds. Obviously out of bounds. Johnson now underneath was Richardson. Johnson now underneath was Richardson. Long pass. Gordon taking it the other way, lays it up and scores. All back in the drill, but he just takes two long steps. Has great body control up by that rim and got that one to go. So a minute and a half in, and the Hoosiers leading 4 0. Goes by and then just lays it softly off the board. Marcus Ellis, and Thomas, 17 footer off. I'd like to get him down on the block for a turning shot, not a 17 footer off glass. Here's Boo Richardson for the Redbirds. On the feet, Odia Co Richardson for the Redbirds. On the feet, Odia Cosa, and another steal. Gordon runs to it, maintains and puts it up and in. Great control there. Eric Gordon, who has four points. Again, DeAndre Thomas with that lead. I'll tell you, if Eric Gordon won a basketball player, he'd be a wide receiver. The way he can handle that ball in the open field, he grabs that pass and makes it look easy. A three from Dom Johnson's off the back rim. Odia Kosa with the offensive rebound. Johnson, down low, and all alone from the right side. Slack has the right. the open field. He grabs that pass and makes it look easy. A three from Dom Johnson's off the back rim. Odia Kosa with the offensive rebound. Johnson down low and all alone from the right side. Slack has the right side. Slack has the Redbirds first field goal. Good look there, Dom Johnson with the pass to the open teammate. And Thomas double team passes out. Pass it, tough shot on the left elbow. Does not find room and goes. Hoosiers lead almost three minutes in. The sophomore Cyrus Eldridge, who's from Phillips Academy. That's way off from Odia Cosa, but the offensive rebound. It was really a lob pass that was missed time, but it was high enough off the backboard. The Illinois State still uh, kept possession. And it did hit the rim, so the shot clock now is at six. Eldridge, tough shot at three off the left side. Odia Cosa trying to keep it alive for the Redbirds and does so to Johnson. Now the jumper missed. By Richardson. Eldridge, tough shot at three off the left side. Cody Acosta trying to keep it alive for the Redbirds and does so to Johnson. Now the jumper missed by Richardson. Does so to Johnson. Now the jumper missed by Richardson. A couple good offensive rebounds by Illinois State. For Marcus Ellis, Indian League rebound. He has eight rebounds a game from a small forward position. Bassett, some nifty dribbling, but out in the Ellis three. Oh. Pulled down. They're going to get a foul. They're going to help the big fella. In for the Hoosiers. Takes the inbounds pass. Come on, Bassett. 
pass it. Now for Gordon. The sophomore from Terre Haute, Indiana, Levon Bassett. Senior Stimler off for Bassett once again. It's still 14 on the shot clock. Now the right side floats it up off the glass. Can't get it to go, but there's the nice tip. Lance Stimler still 14 on the shot clock. Now the right side floats it up off the glass. Can't get it to go, but there's the nice tip. Lance Stimler. Lance Stimler. Stimler, a good heady player for Indiana. He's come off the bench the last few games and really gives the team a spark early. Time an offensive rebound. Now a steal. Uh, the spark could probably most frustrated with. He's shooting 61% from the field, and that ranks fifth on this Indiana team. There's four of his teammates with a better field goal percentage than he has. Backdoor cut. Gordon trying to jam it, but can't. Rebound Ellis on the blocking foul underneath. With a better field goal percentage than he has. Backdoor cut. Gordon trying to jam it, but can't. Rebound Ellis on the blocking foul underneath. 6'5", 200 pounds, and the stat sheet point-wise doesn't show what his contribution is. Ellis, and a 9-2 Hoosiers advantage, almost five minutes in. That was a long three. Levi Dyer, Bitter, who can certainly shoot from out there. Well, you're right, 6'11", that's the 24th consecutive game he's made a three-point shot, so that's not unusual for him to try to take a shot that far away. Tough shot, Gordon gets it to go. It's it to go over Dom Johnson. Well, Johnson is six foot. Eric Gordon at six four. And Eric knew he had the hunter. It's Illinois State. Ellis. Bassett looking for Gordon. Bassett picked up the dribble and now Gordon fade away. Another tough shot. Too long. Cyrus Eldridge. A little different, the same type of shot, but that was a bad shot by Eric Gordon. He had better uh, defense on him that time, a little farther away from the basket, and didn't hit the rim that time. Emmanuel Holloway. It's the back for Don Johnson with 17 on the shot clock. Nice move there. Kicks it to the corner. This is a three, and that is good for him. ahead gave Holloway the open shot on the baseline. The Hoosiers' lead has been whittled down to three. DJ White, he used the left-handed dribble. Stimler. Stimler sets the screen, Bassett splits two defenders, and then not sure where he's going with it there. He tonight. Johnson. Underneath, juggled, Odiakosa. Juggled, Odiakosa. From behind, Ellis got that, and then at midcourt, out of bounds. And back. So still a three-point Hoosiers lead. Redbirds ball, Don Johnson. And a little push there by Johnson, but don't get that close. That's a silly foul so far away from the basket. First team foul against the Hoosiers. All the way, going to the basket. Offensive foul. As there was Stimler. Over seven minutes gone here in the first half from Hoffman Estates, Illinois. And the Sears Center. DeAndre Thomas spinning. Loose ball out of bounds for Illinois State. Again, Indiana couldn't come up with a rebound there. See the half court offense struggling a little bit now for Indiana. They've scored in the open court on turnovers, but not in the half court game. And the double team there, the foul committed. Dropped quite a bit of weight over the summer. Still, that was about 295 pounds coming on the back of Odia Cosa there. There again, it's to the out of bounds line as you are. You see the three different three-point lines marked out there. They grab. Well, 22 to play here in the first half. Users' offense is stagnated here a bit now and still maintaining a three-point lead. Dribbling a Bassett. Tough shot. Can't get it to four against the Redbirds here in the first half. Bassett off to a great start. 17 points a game. Shooting seven. Great start, 17 points a game, shooting 71% of his field goal wow. shots. How about that? And was shooting 73% three-point shoot. Tough. Can't get it to drop this. The back rim with the second loose ball. 
Retrieved by the Redbirds. Turn around jumper off the glass for Levi Dyer. Jumper off the glass for Levi Dyer. So Dyer makes it a one-point game. Eight points a game. He can score. Comes off the bench. Plays about 22 minutes a game. Just over half the game. And he's had a high career game against Ball State. He had 29 points, so he can score. So the Hoosiers half-court offense in a bit of a drought here. And their lead down to one. Now Bassett with the long range shooting. Well, he has really worked on that three-point shot over the summer. You had mentioned, Mark, 73 percent from three-point range. It's going to go up from there after that make. Now 12 of 16 to begin the year in three-point shooting. And along the baseline, the travel is called IU 40 percent, 6 of 15. He has nearly doubled the number of shots that forced 10 turnovers uh, on their defensive side. That's been the difference in the game so far. Travel called on D.J. White. He stayed here early. Already turned it over 10 times. They're on pace for uh, 40 in the game. If they kept that pace up, I don't think that's going to happen. But that's a uh, credit to Indiana's defense. Cody Acosta with, with that nice jump hook right on the dotted line. Showed some uh, good talent inside on the lane. Three points for Cody Acosta, and it's a two point game. DJ White on that left low block. His jumper good. He likes that shot, leans past line. It's that about eight foot jump shot. First field goal of the game for DJ, and it's once you get a four point lead for the Hoosiers. The other thing that Indiana this year has shown is an uh, inability to really get off to quick starts. They were behind 18 to 8 against UNC Wilmington the last game. They ended up winning that game by 24. And again uh, tonight, they're up four after the first 10 minutes of this half. To the bench with two fouls. Really midway through this first half. Right. Spindle right back to DJ with the right hand. The point to go into DJ first and see what he can do. That time they got the ball where he wanted to, but good defense by the Redbirds. 19 on the shot clock. Johnson. Right low block, slack with the left hand. Passes around and goes in. He's the second leading scorer on the team. Out of a slasher at 6 7, 2 10. Showed good versatility there with the left hand. Reach. Mike taking a seat for Indiana. Crawford. A 1 and 1 and a miss. Here the Redbirds with the ball down by two. Johnson has to go into the backcourt. Stimler diving. Now the Redbirds trying to take advantage of some numbers. But a foul is offered to the IU bench. All alone, the jumper by Holtz. All alone, the jumper by Holtz. Rebound by Stimler. Ellis feeds DeAndre Thomas. A second attempt moves to the right side and lays it in. Ellis feeds DeAndre Thomas. A second attempt moves to the right side and lays it in. First shot it was right there and uh, used the reverse angle there to get the layup to go. On the left side reversing it and the foul this time on DeAndre Thomas who's getting it as four to go in the first half. One of two for Anthony Slack to see the one possession game again. Jordan taking it to the bucket, lost it, gets it back, lays it up and scores. The sun ball's loose. He's able to come up with it. We've seen it a couple times tonight. It looked like that ball was going out of bounds. He grabbed it and laid it in. Jordan, who came in averaging 28 points through the first three games, has eight so far tonight. Jumper, tire head. Jumper, tire headed block. Gordon. Boo Richardson. Gordon. Some other members of his team are collective. Eric Gordon. Apparently it was a change of the foul in the last Illinois State foul. That was the reason Jim Jankovic had gone to the scores table to check on that. 
Richardson. Cyrus Eldridge a little away from the ball. Van below a 6'7", 220-pound junior. Tom Johnson. Into the left corner, Cyrus Eldridge. Tough shot from the free throw line. May have been partially blocked. He's out of bounds. And he goes to Indiana. Eldridge is 0 for 1, missed a three point shot, has not scored yet in nine minutes in the game. Now the nice spin move there by Ellis. With a tough shot there for Eric Gordon, who now has a dozen. He used his left hand that time. He can, he can make that shot both ways. Leaves you with the left hand on the angle there. Hoosiers have opened up a nine-point lead with under seven minutes to go in the first half. Got to fall more on slack to pick up that load. Short with the next free throw and a Gordon Reed. Ellis turns to face the basket. Now wants to back down the defender. Turns and shoots over him in a short one. And Stimler gets knocked to the floor. Ellis turns to face the basket. Now wants to back down the defender. Turns and shoots over him in a short one. And Stimler gets knocked to the floor. We're going to get a foul. Uh, closely and still trying to get the shots. This is a good enough team to wait until they're able to get open shots and nail them down. Big rainbow free throw in and out, but an offensive rebound and an Eldridge three is long. Eldridge three is long. Gordon comes down with it on the offside. Now he's going to run. It's in the lane, and how about that coast to coast for Eric Gordon? Doing well. And we're from Cincinnati. Big Ten fans remember Xavier as they nearly knocked off Ohio State in the tournament last year. And the Buckeyes run to the national championship game. Vandalo has to do something with it. Runs it to Eldridge. Osiris Eldridge with a behind the back dribble. Still nine on the shot clock. And Stimler there to deny the entry pass. Indiana does. And now just eight seconds for Illinois State to get the shot away. Left alone there was Johnson. Four on the shot clock. Richardson forces it up short. And as the shot clock expires, causes a very tough shot and the turnover. Bassett got up in the air. Feeds it into the paint. And it's back out. And the Gordon three is good. Seventh for Eric Gordon. That's the thing. He scored so well on the inside, but don't forget about that outside shot. He can make three-point shots, uh, as we talked about earlier. 12 for the Hoosiers with 5.20 remaining in the first half. Mandalo short. 12 for the Hoosiers with 5.20 remaining in the first half. Mandalo short with the next. Gordon the rebound. Gordon hesitates. This is a tough shot. This is a tough shot. For a moment, Ellis had it, but here come the Redbirds on the run. Richardson just throws it back, and a behind-the-back toss into the corner, and a jumper is good for Green. Got the basket. I don't think they do dry it up that way. That was good basketball, though, not to take a bad shot and wait till you got open. That's a lot of creativity. He carried it. Chicago Suburbs, the Hoosiers right now on an 11-4 run. Last three and a half minutes. Is a jumper, Dyer, centering and shooting that three ball. That's his second one, and he looks very comfortable out there. Great form for a big guy from three-point line. Now Dyer matched up defensively with D.J. White. Richardson continues to try to get to D.J. White on the inside, but good help by Holloway prevented that shot. Crawford. Cyrus Eldridge gets a move in the lane, off balance, gets it to drop. That's on a fast break, his first basket of the night. Got that one to roll in. Hey, Eldridge had a career high 30 points on Sunday against UNC Wilmington. But as John just mentioned, his first basket of this one comes with four minutes left in the half. A miss by Bassett, saved a long basket of this one comes with four minutes left in the half. A miss by Bassett, saved a long. The baseline by Boo Richardson.
Wolves. Another long jumper. Missed by Bandolo. And tonight, Eric Gordon has 17. He's been outstanding. Uh, but the next highest score is four, DeAndre Thomas. Gordon. The jab for D.J. White. Basket for the layup. At the last second, he dishes to D.J. White for an easy layup. And Cyrus Eldridge. Redbirds trailing it now by seven, driving the baseline, and then up Dyer. That yeah, can happen sometimes. Your confidence is on the outside, but he just a little short arm down that shot, hit the front of the rim and stop. Two and a half minutes to play in this first half from Hoffman Estates. Eldridge. Expecting a back cut, Slack catches up to it and then lays it in. Bounce pass with how wide open he was. And Slack able to catch up to it and lay it in. Good play. Eight now for Anthony Slack. Pass it. Crawford. And the foul. Crawford came in averaging 15 points. Just picked up his first field goal. And now with the free throw, has three points. Then the first guy off the bench shooting 64% from the field. Still getting more than 22 minutes a game, so he gets to play a lot. Holtz made the back cut. Slack held on to the ball. A three by Eldridge. Off the left side. A three by Eldridge. Off the left side. Elected by Armand Bassett. Crawford with the behind the back dribble. Got up in the air and just forces it up off the backboard. A miss. Loose ball right to Gordon. A three. Good. Crawford with the behind the back dribble. Got up in the air and just forces it up off the backboard. A miss. Loose ball right to Gordon. A three. Good. Not to get that shot away either. That ball came right out to him. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. It Bassett sprained his ankle. He, he's limping. Didn't make it down the floor that time. Got Sampson's pointing to an injury. Trying to get a timeout from the official, but it's not going to be called. See Armand playing way off his man in the lane and kind of shuffles, trying to get out there defensively. Slack. Wanted by DJ White. Wide open three. No good for Vandalo. In the corner. Gordon trying to save it. And the official out of the ball game now goes to the end of the bench to visit with trainer Tim Garl. Actually, he's going to walk right into the locker room. Under a minute now to play in the first half. Slap. A triple team got it blocked. D.J. White. I think Lance Stemler blocked that from behind, and D.J. White came up with a good defense by Indiana. Ellis underneath Crawford. Ellis underneath Crawford. He's stripped by Slack. Now here come the Redbirds. Richardson. Eldridge. Fouled by Gordon. With it. 0 for 3 now, finally hits 1. So, so choose can dwindle it down and almost in reality hold it for the final shot. And that's why Kelvin Sampson called that timeout. Although the game uh, is a 10 point game right now, there'll be situations late in the ball game when you want to run this type of play, uh, it could be the game winner. Crawford with the slow dribble. Shot clock gets down to 8 now. Make the move to Marcus Ellis. White heading to the basket. The pass to him got deflected. White heading to the basket. The pass to him got deflected and stolen. Eldridge just fires it up. He had more time than that. It's going to go out of bounds wide of the rim as the first half. 19 minutes and it really carried Indiana in this first half. Illinois State has the ball to begin half number two, trailing it by 10. Johnson. The 12th turnover committed by Illinois State. They had 10 very early turnovers. Did a better job of protecting the basketball as the first half went on, but turn it over on their first possession of the second half. There is Gordon. Gets hooked up with the defender. You see the left hand uh, came right across the shoulder and the neck of the defender, Richardson. Now Johnson takes it back to the middle of the floor. Slack 
Tough shot off the left side long. Loose ball. Odia Kosa traveled. Takes it back to the middle of the floor. Slack. Tough shot off the left side long. Loose ball. Odia Kosa traveled. Struggling offense. You need to pick up the pace on defense and get some more of those turnovers. Indiana's got two already here to start the half. Ellis, 14-footer on the run is good. That's a tough, so he likes to lead with that left hand, uh, but still off balance. Looks pretty soft, though, when it got to the rim. Slack, we're going to back down D.J. White. On the floor, picked up again. And Eldridge looked like he was measuring a three. Instead, gets in the lane, and Gordon gets the block. But still with the Redbirds and Boo Black. We're going to back down D.J. White. On the floor, picked up again. And Eldridge looked like he was measuring a three. Instead, gets in the lane, and Gordon gets the block. But still with the Redbirds and Boo And Eldridge looked like he was measuring a three. Instead, gets in the lane, and Gordon gets the block. But still with the Redbirds and Boo with the Redbirds and Boo Richardson. Left corner, three. Long from Dom Johnson with another offensive rebound. This one for Slack. Left corner, three. Long from Dom Johnson with another offensive rebound. This one for Slack. Johnson with another offensive rebound. This one for Slack. And a fresh 35 this time for the Redbirds. Johnson, 15-footer, bounces off and a one-handed rebound for DeAndre. Bounces off and a one-handed rebound for DeAndre Thomas, who's playing with three fouls. Ellis, off balance again, tried to shoot. It. Ellis, off balance again, tried to shoot it off the backboard and had a bad angle, couldn't connect there. Slack, jump hook, jump hook. Another team off to a very good offensive beginning here in the second half. Gordon tries to change that. He's long with the three. Ellis, baseline jumper, good in the foul. <laughs> offensive rebound, offensive beginning here in the second half. Gordon tries to change that. He's long with the three. Ellis, baseline jumper, good in the foul. <laughs> offensive rebound, rebounding, assist, plays like that. Ellis from Westinghouse High School in Chicago. Missed the free throw. That is off. Richardson uses the screen of Slack to go to the right side. Holloway picks up the dribble. Gets it right back from Odiacosa. Eldridge has Gordon right there. Nice dribble. Picked up defensively by White, and then a fadeaway from the baseline. Good. Came off that screen well. Had good control when he let go of that shot. Five points. Crawford spinning. His 14th footer goes. Shoot it from the outside. Again, a one on one move that time. But he seemed to make a good shot of it right at the people. Hoosiers by 14. Eldridge feeds Slack. Gets a little space. Scores. The foul on one. For DJ to recover. Slack used some good quickness there to get to the reverse side of the rim for the layup. Slack completes the three point play as Eldridge held the three points in that first half. Slack really coming through where he's needed. Gordon on the sideline. Yeah. Uh, the players may be a little confused with the. Uh, uh, the red line, which is about two feet outside the regular three-point line. Reverse miss by Holloway. An Eldridge three. And the white had the rebound, came crashing down in his foul. Regular three-point line. Reverse miss by Holloway. An Eldridge three. And the white had the rebound, came crashing down in his foul. Crawford, and a scoop by Richardson. Thomas on the left side, kisses it off the glass. Quick movement of those feet. 
for a big guy. Got right to the uh, backboard with that shot. And Jordan Crawford took a real shot there on a screen. And Andre Thomas has been playing with those three fouls. He's up to six points. Also has a steal. He's played a total of ten minutes. And he's in there now for the Hoosiers. Illinois State has hit only two of their first ten field goal attempts here in the second half. Dyer. White got a hand on that. On that. And Ellis brings it out for the Hoosiers. Marcus. Marcus. Ill-advised pass there looking for Gordon. And Eldridge Steele, he takes it to the rack and score. Eldridge got the layup. Eldridge, who went scoreless through about the first 16 minutes of this game, now up to seven points. D.J. White. Holloway bounces it down low. And Odia Bosa in state. 78-65 to 65 was the final in that one. Indiana gets it in the hands of Eric Gordon. Tough 18 footer. Put back though. DeAndre. Tough 18 footer. Put back though. DeAndre Thomas. I think Indiana's looking for a little more passion, a little more enthusiasm from their players. And uh, DeAndre Thomas is the one that brings that the most. Got a quick rebound there and laid it right in. Reversed in scoring is Deepa Digits. Nine point lead for IU. Crawford. Trying to find Gordon. He's able to do so. Gordon. And then Thomas just getting up here ready for that quick pass. So they are hanging around here. And Cyrus Eldridge. If he gets hot, that's kick. Chicago. Lee guarding the inbounds pass to Holloway. Now Drew Richards in the point guard. Shot clock's at 10. Lost the handle on it. Out of bounds in the lane. Two 3 0 teams here tonight Illinois State and Indiana. Six to shoot. Holloway had it blocked. He's got three to shoot. Goes to the bucket. Shot clock expired. State and Indiana. Six to shoot. Holloway had it blocked. He's got three to shoot. Goes to the bucket. Shot clock expired. Fired after the shot miss. Crawford. Blocking foul will go against Boo Richardson. 38 39, Indiana by nine with the ball. Crawford. going to go against Don. Dropped 32 points at Florida State in just his second ever Illinois State team. And there is an impressive jam from Eric. 15 minutes left. All the way. And then Holtz. Still on the perimeter with Osiris Eldridge. Stemmer, a nice job to keep that ball out of the post. Dyer loves to shoot that three. He's a running close. It wasn't like he had a wide open shot. At 6'11, you're not going to block many three point shots when a guy's that big. A push in the back. On the baseline right taken out by Crawford. Simmons gives it to Gordon. Spins, shoots a 14 footer off the back rim. Slack. Anthony Slack, 6'7, 200 pound senior from New Orleans. The Missouri Valley Conference newcomer team last year. Okay. Score. But you're about to say Slacks picked up the Slacks. Well, I mean, that'd be too obvious. Oh, the slam dunk for you, John. Yeah, I can't do that one. <laughs> Holloway. Holtz. Ran into McGee. And the foul. One of two there for Brandon. Crawford brings it up this time, now to Gordon. 
That's corner McGee. Crawford pulls it back out. Jordan makes a tough shot. Tries a tough shot. Can't make it. Still had time left on the shot clock, so not the shot Indiana wanted that time. Away from the ball. With size to try taking down the block and picked up the foul. Third foul on Crawford. Holloway. A three from Dyer. There's his fourth main three of the night. And don't look now with the Redbirds for Dyer. I'll say Dyer's been unbelievable now. Four of four from behind the line. Going for the steal. It's a crucial part of the game right now for both teams. 14-point Hoosiers lead down to four. Stimler hands it off to Gordon. Running to face the basket and a double team. Thomas. Running to face the basket and a double team. Thomas loses it. Tough to dribble that ball when you got two defenders on you. Well, the State comes up with the turnover. Now this four-point deficit, this is as close as the Redbirds have been. Count the basket and the foul. About to here in the second half. Slack off with the free two-point Hoosiers lead, and a lot of time left. Going for the steal again, and then one. Uh, until, of course, uh, the tenth foul when it's two shots. But Indiana's Ellis Benke, both he has seven points. Well, with those two from the Hoosiers, it's still a 9-2 run for the Redbirds. Richardson almost lost it. Watch out for Dyer. He's going to shoot another one. And that one didn't even go higher. Well, he was open for Illinois State. Still working on the ankle of Eldridge, trying to get him back quickly. Gordon now being defended by Richardson. Lost out of bounds. Back to the basket, but surprised there was no call. Dyer came over to help, and no call made. Into Stimler, you see the shot clock. Into Stimler, you see the shot clock. 17 to shoot, a steal. Got a three on one, and the other way to jam, missed by Dyer, and out of bounds to Indiana. We'll see if Indiana's offense can go and at least get to the line and shoot some free throws. They get it to Gordon, who split two defenders. Underneath. The miss there by DJ. They get it to Gordon, who split two defenders. Underneath. The miss there by DJ. Jump, uh, free throw. Native Nigeria misses the second. As long as it goes, doesn't look bad on the form. One possession game, though. 52 49. Indiana with just over nine minutes to play. Away for the ball. Just the side of his head. Uh, straight at the rim. This is that one, but it gets the rebound and lays it up and scores. The Illinois State player, I believe Dyer, but it was tipped right to Gordon. And it's a six point lead for the Hoosiers. Gordon, a real nose for the ball. It's amazing how many passes and deflections he's able to come up with. Dyer gets stripped by Ellis. A foul is called. Game that averages eight for three games this season. This is the second for White. IU up five. Box and one defense now. Look at Holloway's on board, man to man, and the rest of the uh, team in a diamond. Zone defense. Flipped up. No basket. Crawford got to go. The official on the far side says foul on the floor. One and one, and he missed the front end. Loose ball, grabbed by Crawford, back up. Tipped towards the corner, Crawford has it again. Now Ellis, offensive rebound. Thomas, that was partially blocked. Grabbed by Crawford, back up. Tipped towards the corner, Crawford has it again. Now Ellis. Offensive rebound. Thomas. That was partially blocked. Crawford has it again. Now Ellis. Offensive rebound. Thomas. 
That was partially blocked. Offensive rebound. Thomas. That was partially blocked. Here come the Redbirds. They got a four on one, and Holt pulls up. Good. Here come the Redbirds. They got a four on one, and Holt pulls up. Good. Offensively, except for Eric Gordon. Indiana with the ball and a three point lead. There's that zone defense called the diamond and one. So they got one player, Holloway, on Gordon. The rest of the four players play a zone against Indiana's remaining four players. Gordon with 12 on the shot clock. Crawford will shoot the three. Long rebound, DJ White. White on one on one there with Odia Kosa. Put back good for Jordan Crawford. Crawford will shoot the three. Long rebound, DJ White. White on one on one there with Odia Kosa. Put back good for Jordan Crawford. White on one on one there with Odia Kosa. Put back good for Jordan Crawford. Very tough for him to get good shots with this Illinois State defense. Uh, slack underneath both White and Thomas are having trouble with him inside. 19 foul. You see Stimler coming in for Thomas. And, a and he misses a front end, but kept alive by Odia Kocha. Jumper Richardson. This time an Ellis rebound. Marcus Ellis comes up with a big rebound. See how Indiana is trying to score against this defense. You don't see it very much. And Indiana, of course, hasn't practiced against this diamond in one, and they're having trouble getting good shots. 15 on the shot clock. Lance Stimler. Gordon guarded by Richardson. Tough fadeaway. Wow. Second. Again, Rich is only 5'8. Uh, Eric Gordon knows he's not going to get that shot blocked as long as he has good form and and keeps control, he'll make that shot. 27 points for Gordon. The lead to seven for the Hoosiers. Leacosa sets the screen, pick and roll, offensive foul. Over six minutes left. 59-52 Indiana. Get it to Gordon. Again with Richardson on it. Six from the lead to eight for IU. Bob Johnson. Watch for Dyer on the perimeter, and instead he gives it up in the three by Eldridge. He's missed. Offensive rebound. Slack back up. Tough shot. A miss. Bob Johnson. Watch for Dyer on the perimeter, and instead he gives it up in the three by Eldridge. He's missed. Offensive rebound, slack back up, tough shot, a miss. DJ White's going on some big rebounds here lately for him. The lead stays at eight, with under five and a half to go. And to Gordon, in a little trouble with the exchange. Gives it back to Stimler. He'll shoot the baseline jumper in and out. That's off the dire line. Back out for the Redbirds. Seven points now for Eldridge on three and nine shooting. Gordon. Calling for the hook. That's the second time tonight. That Gordon. On it. So that's the third on Gordon with just over five minutes left. Holtz feeds Holloway. Holloway pulls up, shoots an 18 footer. And another rebound. Oh, yeah, White's making his you know, presence known there. He's not scoring a lot today. Six rebounds now for him. Gordon into the lane. Two shots for fouls. So that's a big issue for Illinois State. Stimler got the rebound and then caught on the issue for Illinois State. Stimler got the rebound and then 
but caught on the bottom side of the backboard, but comes back with it. So IU, Jordan Crawford finishes. You can drive against that zone. That's the best way to beat it. Crawford got right to the, the rim and laid it in. Well, it got down to a one-possession game. But now it's IU by 11, then the reach. Crawford. Makes it a three-possession game, 63. A pass in the direction of two teammates. It was White who came up with it. Crawford with 15 on the shot clock. 14 footer, good. And then he stops for a jump shot there. They're trying to prevent Eric Gordon from getting the outside shot. Getting his hands on the ball. So somebody else on Indiana has to come through. It's been Jordan Crawford here lately. He's in the double digits. 13 points for Crawford. Three and a half minutes left. Holloway. Holtz uses the screen of Odiakosa. Screen to put DJ out right outside. Stemmer comes to the weak side to make an easy steal. Stimler in the quarter. Crawford's had the hot hand recently. Stimler. Crawford baseline. A similar three is short. Rebound three is short. Rebound off the floor, grabbed by Odia Kosa. Johnson waiting for a moment. 2.45 left. 11 point lead for IU. Winner faces Xavier. In the Chicago Invitational. Odia Kosa with Two minutes left. Crawford guarded by Richardson. Two more shots. Sixty-six, fifty-four. IU. Richardson. Nice bounce pass down low, and Slack is fouled. Moss is their head coach. If the Redbirds cannot rally him, and Slack misses both free throws. Slack now three of nine from the line tonight. He's got some issues there. Gordon. Under two minutes to go, and IU like to eat up, eat up some clock here. Shot clock at 15. And they still get a good shot, and they get the ball to Gordon with 12 seconds to go. DJ White spinning for the shoot. Gordon gets underneath and stepped on the baseline. Raced ahead by Richardson. A minute and a half to play. Holloway. Tough shot. A miss off the glass. Going after his own rebound. Tied up. One of the few times Dyer, who had some big three point shots. And then missed one. Missed the dunk. And really, from that point, John had. Went back in, and I use favor this game. Well, Indiana was able to get some key baskets. And now they're just trying to run some clock here in the last minute. Gordon. Number eight, Indiana by 14 with a minute left. Holloway. Attempting to find slack underneath and had it. Dyer is going to take a shot at another three, and he hits that one. Senior, 238, and Derek Brown, 6'8", 225. So they've got the size to match Indiana inside. Inside the final minute. Stimler is a push. at 70-57. Anthony Slack. Made some big points early in the first half for Illinois State tonight. Scoop shot. Won't fall, won't fall for Holloway.
Big Ten tonight coming up after us here.